let m0 to m4 be mutexes and p0 to p4 be processes. Suppose each process pi executes the following. So this is the set of statements that each process is executing. It waits for mi. So then it waits for m i plus 1 mod 4. Probably it enters the critical section over here. Then it releases mi and releases mi plus 1 mod 4. So this could cause thrashing, deadlock, starvation but dot not deadlock, none of the above. Thrashing is related to page activity. So we are not given any page information as such. So this is not the case we know. Starvation also it is related to the scheduling on the CPU. So cannot say much about this without any more information. But let us see whether it has a chance of entering into deadlock or not. So this is the code that these processes run. These are five processes P0 to P4 over here. It waits for mi. i is 0 over here. So it waits for 0. Then i plus 1 which is 0 plus 1. 1 mod 4 is 1. So wait for m1. Then uh, critical section release m0 and release m1. Similarly p1 i is 1 over here and so on. Now we have to see whether there is a possibility of deadlock over here or not. Let us say process p0 run. So it is waiting on m0 and then process p1 starts running. Let us say all the mutexes were 1 earlier. So as soon as it is waiting on m0 that means m0 has now become 0. It has acquired m0 and now it was preempted and now p1 is running. So p1 has acquired this mutex m1. Then p2 has acquired m2 and it is preempted again by p3 and p3 has acquired m3 and p4 has acquired m4. So let us say all of these processes they were preempted after each of their first statements. Each of them has acquired one mutex. Now p0 is waiting for m1 but m1 is being held by p1. So it just is keep kept in a wait state. p1 meanwhile is waiting for m2 which has been acquired by p2. p2 is waiting for m3 which has been acquired by p3 and p3 is been waiting for m0 which has been acquired by p0 again and p4 is waiting for m1 which has been acquired by p1. So each of these processes is holding one resource which is holding one mutex and it is waiting for another mutex which is being held by another process. So this is a possibility of a deadlock. So this is our option that this kind of a situation can possibly lead to a deadlock.